the entrance and farm. Forsake me not, O Lord my God. Be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends in Christ, I would like to offer this mass to ask God for whatever our, ourselves or our family needs. So we ask God to grant our request. And also we ask God help us to be faithful to God to uh, love one another, forgive one another, especially in this time, I know that many, many people pros was, were or are frustrated, depressed, or angry at God. So we ask God to send the great blessing upon them, like joy, peace, happiness. And so we prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. Let us acknowledge that we need God's mercy and forgiveness in our daily lives. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us all our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and your blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, look with compassion on our affliction and so lighten your children's burden and confirm their faith that they may always trust without hesitation in your fatherly providence to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Join with others in being imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model you have in us. For many, I have often told you, and now tell you even in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction. Their God is their stomach. Their glory is in their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things, but our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and my crown, in this way, stand firm in the Lord, beloved. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our response. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set forth foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us Let go us rejoicing go to the house, the house of, the Lord. of the Lord. According to the decree of Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the, the house of the Lord. Lord. May the God open your heart, your mind, for the plan the God for four people here in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, a rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, what is this that I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, what shall I do now that my master is taking the position of steward away from me? I am not strong enough to dig, and I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do to, do to so to, I know what I shall do so that when I am removed from the stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes. He called his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, Here, how much do you owe my master? He replied, One hundred measures of olive oil. He said to him, here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for 50. Then to another he said, and, and you, how much do you owe? He replied, 100 measures of wheat. He said to him, here is your promissory note. Write one for 80. And the master commended the dishonest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of the light. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> it's obviously at this time of the year, November, it rolls around and we're called to pray for those who have, you know, the saints that have gone before us and we want to imitate them as much as we can in their life. And we're also called certainly to pray for those around us, our, our parents, our grandparents, sisters, brother, friends, who also have died. But the, the neat thing, too, about November is that we're also called to think about ourselves. What are we doing with our life, and how are we living it? Because while most of us are obviously getting up there in age, like the steward here, our job here on earth may be ended. God's going to call us and say, now make an account for what you have done here on earth. So the gospel today reminds us of how we are to use the things that are around us. And the, in the gospel here, the steward, the, the dishonest steward, was given, uh, commended for how he handled his affairs after he was summoned that he was going to be let go. And in, in the case here of interest there that uh, back in Palestine at that time, if you owed 100 or uh, 50 measures of uh, olive oil, then the note was written for 100, which was a large amount of interest on what you actually borrowed from them. And so what the dishonored steward did is he took that promissory note and cut it back to what would be a normal uh, interest rate on what he borrowed. And so he wasn't really taking anything from uh, somebody other than the, the master of the house who had the rights to that extra money, let's say, like because he was charged that way. So the steward then was just using what he could to help himself get to, uh, in this case, uh, a home, you know, find a place to live. So as we think about ourselves, uh, we each have homes, cars, jobs, whatever, we have property. How are we using that? Uh, to help ourselves get to heaven. We're called to uh, not overcharge people, not demand too much from them, not, not hoard it ourselves. So uh, it's important for us to think about that as we go on. In the first reading, Paul is telling the people there that, that uh, he's kind of like talking to you. You guys are doing a good job. We know that you're citizens here for a while, and then you're going to be called to heaven where you're the full citizenship. You're working your way to heaven. But he's warning those people to be on the lookout for all the other people who, are, who their God is their food or their God is their recreation and so on. So as we go, go through November, we need to think about, again, all the people we need to pray for and imitate the saints. But we also need to think about ourselves. Truly, how are we reacting to God and here on earth 
Are we using the things that he has given us wisely so that we too can make that uh, citizenship into heaven a part of our eternal life? We pray for the church. May the Holy Spirit continue to bless and guide and uphold the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, heal our prayers. We pray for our uh, leaders and all those with worldly power. May God make them wise and uh, selfless stewards of their gift. We pray to the Lord. Lord, heal our prayers. We pray for all who suffer from loneliness or grief. May God console them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for this faith community. May our communion in Christ's body and blood instill in us a greater love for him and for one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the faithful departed. May our uh, Savior transform them into the image of his own glory. We pray to the Lord. For your intentions that you bring here today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, would you please grant our request, especially the prayer that we keep in our own hearts for increasing vocation to the priesthood and religious life and for the end of abortion, for peace in our own country, over the world, and for those two people who are sick who need your healing power, we ask you, God, heal them all. Heal them all. And also for your church, help your church to be holier, your, your priests, my bishop, all the bishops, professors, deacons, religious brothers, sisters, help all of us to be faithful to you, help us to love uh, our vocation, help us to follow you for, for the rest of our life. And whatever we need in this life, we ask God to grant our request and help us always be patient with you, God. We ask all of this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation. For though your goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, food of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation. For though your goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, food of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Praise my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory in his name, for the good and good of all his holy seed. Except in companion, Lord, we pray the offering of your family that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but obtain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just in our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, seeing our praise is as nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choir of angels, we pray you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Most holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirits upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and each of each, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and one more gift in hands. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, if we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, be, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with four friends that have been supporting all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have led you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and from by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Please God, answer my prayer. Please let me have this place in which you have the truth and believe in you. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gradually when peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, and we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostle, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look now in our sins, but on the faith of your church and gradually when her peace is unity, in according with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only to say the word and my soul shall be healed. 
May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. The communion verse, you will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. The body of Christ. We pray, O oh Lord, that in receiving your sacrament, we may experience help in mind and body, so that kept safe in both, we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all. Let bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go proclaim the gospel of the Lord by your life. Thank be to God. Thank you all for being here this morning, and God bless you. Have a good weekend.